Okay, so good morning everyone. Today we'll continue with the book law on the fundamentals of diagnostic radiology with a chapter on the pediatric abdomen and pelvis. The first part of the chapter will be presented by Dr. Alhanda. She can start. Good morning everybody. Our part is about pediatric abdomen and pelvis. Uh, gastrointestinal obstruction is a relatively common problem in infant and child. The most likely cause of obstruction in children shifts in importance according to age or determination of the level of obstruction. Abdominal radiographs continue to be a useful initial screening examination for assessing site of obstruction or determining the need for further imaging. Most common cause of GI uh, tract obstruction, according to the age, uh, 0 to 1 month congenital anomaly are common, atresia, stenosis, malrotation, volvulus, hair spring, meconium plug uh, syndrome, or uh, meconium ileus. 1 to 5 month hernias are common, 3 month to 3 year intussusception, 3 year and older perforated appendicitis, adhesions, regional enteritis. Hypopharyngeal hyperesophageal uh, obstruction is uncommon in infant and children caused by spasm of uh, the cricopharyngeus muscle or inflammation resulting from GI reflex. Inflammatory process su such as epiglottitis, retropharyngeal abscess, tonsillar abscess, or a number of tumor or cysts that occur in this area, or a large pharyngeal uh, diverticulum. Causes of uh, esophageal obstruction, uh, uh, most common is congenital atresia. Uh, the other are web diverticulum form body structure, uh, extrinsic compression by cyst in neoplasm or vascular. Uh, in esophageal obstruction, uh, most common is esophageal atresia, usually at the upper thir third of esophagus. Uh, the esophageal atresia is uh, frequently associated with the TG fistula, most commonly the fistula extent obliquely from the trachea just above the carina to the distal esophageal pouch. Esophageal atresia is more common in infant with trisomy 21 and uh, be may be associated with vertebral anomaly, duodenal atresia and rectal malformation. Uh, these are uh, types of uh, esophageal, uh, tracheoesophageal fistula. In normal anatomy, we have uh, trachea and esophagus without connection. Uh, but when uh, we have atresia, we uh, have uh, blind end at many types. Uh, most common are uh, upper blind and lower fistula. And uh, also we have the other types. Um, this is uh, tracheoesophageal fistula. We see that uh, this is the trachea and this is esophageal. Esophagus, and uh, this is the, the uh, fistula between them. Uh, this is frontal uh, view de demonstrating blind ending air filled upper esophageal pouch, uh, the gas uh, in the stomach uh, and intestine, which indicate the presence of uh, fistula. If you have the gas, uh, we have a fistula. If you have no gas, uh, we, uh, there is no fistula, just atresia. And uh, this is also the lateral view of. Uh, no connection. No connection. Fistula. Part of the esophagus and the and trachea. The there yes. is no connection. Yes. If you have gas, there is some kind of connection between the distal part of the esophagus and the and trachea, the trachea or the aorus. Yes. If you have gas, that means there is distal fistula. Fistula. Distal connection. Yes. Yes. Congenital esophageal stenosis is less common cause of congenital esophageal obstruction. On esophageogram, a circumferential segment of narrowing with tapered margin is present. In older children and adults, the narrow segment often contain a characteristic concentric ring-like indentation. Uh, this is uh, a case of uh, congenital uh, short, uh, short esophagus, uh, mostly is caused by uh, hernia. Uh, this is part of the stomach in the uh, chest and uh, no, uh, this is uh, the uh, esophagus which is short and uh, thick. Uh, Where is the esophagus? This. No. It's up. Up? It's short yeah. and it pulls the stomach. This is the part of the stomach. Okay. This part, the whole thing is a part of the stomach okay. and the chest. Peptic esophagitis, uh, uh, although G G uh, gastroesophageal reflex is very common in infant, peptic esophagitis with stricture is an uncommon complication. Uh, GER may be co primary caused by achalasia due to lax gastroesophageal sphincter 
or secondary to a gastric outlet or structure. Calasia, not acalasia. Calasia, yes. It's different. Yes. Calasia means incompetent strength. Yes. Acalasia means overcompetent strength. Mm. Peptic esophageal structures usually are short and located in the distal third, uh, third of the esophagus. Peptic structures may be irregular or surprisingly th smooth, mimicking the finding of achalasia. Uh, this is uh, distal esophage in a child was uh, caused by gastroesophageal reflex. We see this is uh, smooth, uh, narrow, mimicking, uh, like, uh, look like the achalasia. Uh, caustic esophagitis, we have alkaline and acidic cause. Uh, in general, alkaline cause deep uh, injury, while the acidic cause superficial. And uh, alkaline cause more fibrosis and stricture, but acidic less. And uh, most uh, alkaline are irregular, long stricture, but acidic usually focal. So acidic is much milder yes. than the alkaline. Alkaline is severe injury. Who alkaline most common like by battery ingestion, it will uh, leak the alkaline into the surrounding. Lime ingestion. Lime. Alkaline ingestion. Lime. Then the battery is alkaline. Alkaline. Causing deep. This is a case of uh, acoustic ingestion, uh, caustic, which is caustic. Caustic, yes. Acoustic. Which is a long, long irregular uh, structure. It's characteristic of caustic ingestion. Epidermolysis bullosa is a hereditary condition characterized by inflammatory skin and mucosal lesions that can heal with fibrosis resulting in esophageal structure or web. In acute esophagitis uh, caused by uh, organisms such as candida or herpes, more common in immunocompromised children. Uh, this is a long con uh, concentric structure uh, in a child with epidermolysis below them. Uh, gastric obstruction, uh, gastric distension on radiographs doesn't always indicate obstruction in infant. Persistent asymptomatic gastric distension occur in infant receiving prostaglandin. In the newborn infant, if uh, obstruction of the stomach is complete, radiographs show no air distal to the stomach. Causes of gastric obstruction, uh, we have atresia, uh, duplication cyst, pyelorospasm, hypertrophic pyloristenosis, gastritis or ulcer, volvulus, microgastria, inflammatory, myofibroblastic tumor, and lizards. Gastric atresia usually occur at the level of pylorus. Gastric atresia may occur in infant with congenital epidermolysis bullosa, microgastria, and occur with other GI atresia or Vater syndrome. It's commonly associated with polysplenia or asplenia syndrome. This is a case of uh, a gastric atresia, uh, finding consists of dilated air-filled stomach with no air uh, distal to the pylorus. Gastric du duplication must be critically located in the antrum or be very large to result in obstruction. They are best demonstrated with ultrasound where they appear sonolucent with a wall. Uh, they mean gastric duplication cysts. Yes. And not gastric duplication of two stomach. Because Cyst. duplication cysts that should be located in the antrum or should be very large so that they to can cause also obstruction. And they appear as lucent uh, with a wall that uh, demonstrates both mucosa and muscular layers. And this is a Can case of duplication. And this is uh, an example of uh, gastric duplication cyst, uh, large uh, upper, uh, cystic lesion seen in the upper quadrant, and uh, two layers of muscular and uh, mucosal layer can be seen. Gastric volvulus is an uncommon cause of gastric obstruction. The volvulus may be idiopathic or associated with congenital conditions such as diaphragmatic hernia, diaphragmatic eventration, or asplenia syndrome. Gastric volvulus classified as organoaxial, in which the stomach rotates along its longitudinal axis, or mesoaxial, the stomach rotates about a line perpendicular to the cardiopyloric line. This is a case of gastric volvulus. There will be massive enlargement of the stomach uh, caused by uh, gastric volvulus. 
pylorospasm uh, in pylorospasm ultrasound demonstrate persistent contraction of the anteropyloric region poor emptying of liquid from the stomach uh, uh, and uh, mild uh, decrease uh, thickness of the outer circular muscle occasionally can be seen uh, the muscle one, uh, normally 1.5 uh, millimeter, but in this condition it is more than 1.5 millimeter and less than 3 millimeter. Yani not uh, stenosis. The muscle uh, thickening is uh, greater than 3 millimeter is only a transit phenomena in pylorospasm. And uh, this is an example of uh, antrum which is contracted, thickened, and uh, after uh, the treatment uh, it resolves. Medical. In hypertrophic pyloric stenosis, uh, acquired condition most often develop between 2 and 10 weeks of age. Ultrasound is the preferred examination. Pyloric muscle measure 3 mm or more in thickness, while canal elongated beyond 14 mm. Uh, the pylorus is inflexed spasm and very little fluid pass through it. This is a longitudinal view and uh, transverse view of a uh, case of pyloric stenosis. Uh, we see the pyloric canal is elongated, it's uh, I think below, beyond uh, 20, and uh, also there is thickening of the wall, and uh, sonolucent the do not configuration is in transverse view. Gastric tumors are quite uncommon and gastric teratoma can occur in the unit and can be quite large at presentation. Gastric bizarres are uh, retained gastric solid content that may result in gastric outlet obstruction. Bizarre may consist of hair or milk product, vegetable material, or uh, uh, chronic clot that uh, chronically chewed and swallowed. Uh, air or barium outlining the bizarre is diagnostic. On ultrasound, an echogenic arc over the bizarre is characteristic, and CT show air containing mass that's not attached to the gastric wall. This is an example of a uh, gastric bizarre uh, in the stomach and also is a CT scan of different child. Uh, we see that air containing uh, mass not attached to the gastric wall. Well, and most of the time uh, there is some mental disorder. Yeah. Yes. Most of the times, yeah, some psychological disorder. Uh, Duodenal obstruction, congenital armor, uh, common than acquired, causes are atresia, stenosis, annular pancreas, duodenal band, midgut vulvulus, hematoma, neoplasm, and peptic ulcer disease. Uh, duodenal atresia or annular pancreas in infant when the stomach and duodenum, duodenal bulb are distended with gas, double bubble sign, and no gas is present distally, the best diagnostic possibility are duodenal atresia or annular pancreas. No further imaging is required. Almost always there will be some other investigation. No one will be satisfied with just an X-ray. Even us will not be satisfied with just an X-ray. But it's a general idea. Anyway. This is a case of uh, duodenal atresia. We see a double uh, bubble sign of the stomach and duodena. Air distal to a double bubble obstructive pattern can be seen with duodenal stenosis or duodenal web with a central perforation. Contrast studies are indicated in these cases to distinguish them from mid-gut vulvulus. Ultrasound demonstrated the dilated duodenal bulb with any cause of duodenal obstruction. Mid-gut vulvulus is a complication of intestinal rotational anomaly. Uh, vulvulus is most likely to occur in infant during first year of life. The site is most proximal obstruction usually resides in the mid portion of the duodenum, the, a contrast study is mandatory to determine whether vulvulus is present. A radiograph shows mildly distended loop of bowel extending transversely in the upper abdomen, expected location of the duodenum. And this is the upper GI in the same patient revealed complete obstruction of flow in the third portion of the duodenum. Also, a uh, lateral view uh, in the duodenum course anteriorly suggesting intraperitoneal lateral view uh, mostly uh, do uh, in order to know the, whether it is intraperitoneal or 
بتروح بتروح A different child with the mid-gut volvulus show a tapered beak at the site of obstruction in the third portion of the duodenum. And in ultrasound, demonstrate abnormal position of the superior mesenteric vein to the left of the superior mesenteric artery. Normally, it is reversed. Yes. Because the IBC to the right, the SMV. Yes. The B to the right. Uh, total obstruction at the third portion of the duodenum also can be seen with peritoneal band that frequently accompany rotational abnormality of the intestine. This band is may produce an oblique indentation of the third or fourth portion of the duodenum. Duodenal hematoma is perhaps the most common acquired cause of duodenal obstruction. CT or ultrasound can demonstrate the asymmetrical or concentric thickening of the duodenal wall at the site of the hematoma. Findings that suggest of duodenal laceration on CT include retroperitoneal air or fluid, but retroperitoneal fluid can also be seen with duodenal injury without perforation. The finding may be confirmed by contrast duodenography. Every fluid we suggest duodenal laceration. <laughs> very common. Uh, and ultrasound uh, show an echogenic uh, hematoma uh, causing obstruction of the duodena. And also this is a CT scan uh, of a child with vomiting after endoscopic duodenal biopsy show a large hematoma uh, filling the duodena secondary to post biopsy hemorrhage. Small intestinal obstruction in the neonate and young infant is more likely to be congenital, while in the older, older child, acquired problems are more common. In the neonate, it is difficult to distinguish distal small bowel obstruction from colonic obstruction. On plain radiograph, obstruction anywhere between the ileum and the rectum can produce a similar pattern of num numerous dilated loop of intestine. A contrast enema should be performed to better evaluate the cause of obstruction. Duodenal atresia, radiograph demonstrates a variable number of uh, dilated loop of duodenum with no gas distally. Often no further contrast study are required. A variation of intestinal atresia described as apple pill small bowel consists of diffuse atresia of the small bowel with multiple sites of severe stenosis and a spiral configuration of the atretic segment. This condition to tend to be familiar. This is a case of uh, duodenal atresia. Uh, we see that uh, duodenum is dilated and no air seen distal uh, to the Just proximal to it, multiple air stomach duodenum. Distal to it, there is not. No. Okay. Yes. Ileal atresia and meconium ileal ileus uh, are the most common cause of distal small bowel obstruction in neonate. In both conditions, contrast study reveal a characteristic generalized microcolon. Uh, meconium ileus ili is usually the earliest manifestation of cystic fibrosis. When air fluid levels are present in the distal, uh, in the dilated small bowel, ileal atresia is the more likely diagnosis to differentiate. Why, why cystic fibrosis causes meconium ileus? Why? It will be sluggish, uh, very thick, thick and. Uh, and uh, yes. Face like. So it will be difficult to evacuate. To evacuate. Stay in the small bowel. The colon will not be used, resulting in microcolon, not yes. used colon. And this is a plain radiograph show a uh, soap bubble uh, effect of air mixed with the meconium in, and numerous distended bowel lupus uh, and also contrast uh, study to demonstrate typical uh, microcolon and uh, also terminal ileum is filled with uh, pelts of meconium. Pelts. Pelts. When you diagnose microcolon, you try as best as you can to push the contrast to the terminal ileum to see what's going on there. But at a competent guy, then you can have nothing going on. Not always possible. We have another uh, cause of obstruction. It's meconium plaque syndrome, a small left uh, colon, mostly occur in large baby and diabetic mother. Numerous loop of intestinal uh, distended with air also. Uh, the air uh, narrow rectosigmoid uh, junction can be seen. Uh, the finding is mimic of uh, hair spring disease, but the conditions are totally different, uh, the cause and the management. 
incarcerated, uh, incarcerated inguinal hernia is a common cause of low intestinal obstruction between one and six months of age. Key to radiologic diagnosis is visualization of a unilaterally prominent inguinal fault or loops of air-filled bowel in the scrotum. A ultrasound can identify the incarcerated intestine in the inguinal canal or scrotum and can differentiate a hernia from other cause of scrotal swelling. Uh, this is the uh, multiple loaf of small bowel are seen inside uh, the scrotum and also thick wall bowel and uh, surrounded by a uh, fluid. see this fold here and you cannot see it here but 99% of the time there will be some history okay this fold this line mm -hmm. the okay. other side it's not present just compare this okay 99% there will be some history of scrotal swallowing and so increase with crying okay? and well, for like few weeks and now suddenly there is signs of intestinal obstruction and things like that it's just I'm not diagnosed from just X-ray. It's also central bowel. It's usually the small bowel. Yes, small bowel, exactly. Yeah. Interception, after six months of age, interception become an increasingly important acquired cause of intestinal obstruction. In young uh, children, most interception are iliocolic and the cause ir is idiopathic. Definable lead points such as diverticular polyp tumor are more commonly encountered in unit and in older children. Uh, this is a case of intersusception. A plain radiograph uh, suggests a soft tissue uh, mass with uh, internal uh, fat in the right upper quadrant. And uh, in this is transverse uh, ultrasound. Uh, show fluid distended loop of bowel with uh, some mesenteric lymph node and uh, echogenic fat surrounding it. Uh, this is another child of intersusception. Uh, we see that the uh, thick enhancing, uh, thick uh, wall with uh, va increased vascularity on Doppler imaging. We have also a uh, transient intersusception is uh, common in infant, uh, characterized by short uh, <coughs> segment, uh, short and uh, smaller also uh, most commonly occur in the small intestine and it will transit during the examination most of the time it will go, go away. Uh, this is an image during uh, air reduction of intrasusception reveal a mass surrounded by air uh, this is a head of intrasusception colonic obstruction congenital obstruction are more common uh, than acquired causes Meconium, we have co uh, many causes, uh, like meconium plaque syndrome, hair spring disease, uh, functional megacolon, ectopic anus, colonic atresia, or stenosis, inflammatory stricture, volvulus trauma, and neoplasm. In hair spring disease, is the result of absence of ganglionic cell of the distal colon and rectum. The rectum is always involved, but the extent of proximal involvement varies. A well-defined change in the caliber at the zone of transition is characteristic in older infant, but is frequently not present in unit. Uh, this uh, two images show a uh, dilated uh, upper colon and also this transition zone. Uh, it's characteristic of uh, intussusception. Hairspring disease, sorry. This well, is on, the, on the other image, there is no definite zone of transition. Just Short. The, the one, no, the one on the, the other image. Okay. Here, you cannot see a definite point of transition. It's just normal, uh, little bit small, rectum, rectostigmonia, and then dilated 
sending call. And there is no point of transition. So no the presence of point, of point of transition is not necessary always to be seen, especially mm -hmm. if in the young age. In the unit. Normally, the right one is wider than the signal. Yeah. Uh, this is another uh, case uh, contrast enema of uh, in another infant show a spasm and irregularity of anganglionic segment and uh, this is shorter anganglionic segment uh, showing a well defined uh, transitional zone uh, uh, congenital anal abnormality is uh, one of the causes of uh, obstruction ectopic anus uh, uh, is one of the commonest causes loop of colon are distended and uh, in the upper abdomen, gas is evident, and uh, rectum is not uh, visualized. Also, the sacrum is uh, underdeveloped. <laughs> uh, in uh, order to know the ectopic anus, uh, we should uh, uh, al uh, draw a line uh, between the, uh, we call it the M line, between the um, third uh, upper and mid portion of the uh, sac uh, ischium, middle, middle and lower. Yeah portion uh, at the ischium, uh, if we see the pouch of uh, rectum uh, beyond uh, the line, this is uh, most likely the yeah. ectopic anus. Uh, colonic at, uh, this is a case of colonic at atresia. Uh, plain radiograph demonstrates numerous loop of bowel uh, distended intestine and uh, contrast study demonstrates blind ending microcolon. This is uh, colonic atresia. They are, uh, it is an uncommon condition. Uh, we have uh, another topic, which is inflammatory and infection. We have esophagitis, peptic, uh, caustic ingestion, viral, and monilial infection. Finding all uh, what will be a thickening of the esophageal wall, lack of normal peristalsis, and tertiary contraction. Ulcer may be superficial or deep. Uh, this. Uh, a case of enteritis, ultrasound show loop of bowel with moderate wall thickening uh, and uh, intraluminal uh, fluid seen. Uh, also, uh, it will be increased vascularity on Doppler ultrasound. They are in different cause, caused by milk allergy. This is different child. In necrotizing enterocolitis is a condition that is seen almost exclusively in premature and newborn infant. <coughs> The clinical findings tend to mimic those of sepsis. However, the passage of blood per rectum is more common than uh, with necrotizing enterocolitis. This is a, a case of uh, necrotizing enterocolitis. We see multiple distended uh, bowel, uh, linear translucency. What, what else? We show uh, this uh, lines of translucency. What do they call it? Uh, in the bowel wall. Uh, the main finding in pneumatosis is pneumatosis, cystoidis, and yes. Yes. It comes <coughs> as in form of cysts or in form of linear, linear translucencies. Line. Yes. In the wall of the bowel. And if severe enough, it might be seen in the portal vein. Yes. And if seen in the portal vein, this is a poor prognostic sign. Yes. yes. Children. Uh, this uh, infant showing pneumatosis in stenalis and uh, branching radiolucent within the liver, representing air, air within the portal venous system. Ultrasound on infant uh, with perforation following necrotizing enterocolitis uh, show a free intraperitoneal fluid containing echogenic debris and punctate area. This is left lateral decubitus radiograph. It show free intraperitoneal air indicating perforation, uh, perforation in an infant with uh, necrotizing enterocolitis. Regional enteritis, uh, primary site is terminal ileum, characterized by variable length of narrow irregular terminal ileum with or without ulcer or sinus. On ultrasound, there is uh, transmural bowel wall thickening, decreased peristalsis, and increased vascularity. Uh, this contrast study of uh, distal small bowel and cecum demonstrate the markedly narrowed and irregular terminal ileum, uh, the mucosal uh, thickening in the tip of the cecum, and also this is uh, the radiograph uh, 
in another patient markedly narrowed uh, segment of the ilium indicated the presence of uh, iliorectal uh, fistula. Contrast, see where? Here. In the rectum. In the rectum. Iliorectal fistula. Area. Yes. This is because of? Fistula. Fistula formation between the ilium and the rectum. Yes. Uh, this ultrasound uh, show transmural hypoechoic thickening of the uh, wall of the terminal ilium and on color Doppler ultrasound there is increased flow and uh, thick bowel wall. This is very important imaging fact. You know, it can be a good research for the board uh, it, Ultrasound can be used to monitor the response to treatment by detecting the vascularity of the affected bowel wall. When there is increased vascularity, means increased inflammation, means active disease. Decreased yes. vascularity, decreased inflammation, less active or inactive disease. So someone might do a research about it. So they have like 10 or 15 patients with Crohn's disease and detect the response to treatment. Colitis, almost any form of colitis manifests as a thickening of the colonic wall or mucosa on ultrasound or CT. Uh, this uh, uh, are different image of uh, ultrasound and CT scan showing uh, colitis. Uh, this is thickening of the bowel wall uh, and CT of the different child. Uh, there is a uh, marked thickening of the cecum and uh, ascending colon yeah, with a a mesenteric uh, lymph node enlargement. Tiflitis is a localized necrotizing, coli uh, necrotizing colitis, usually involve the cecum that develop in patient with leukemia or other malignancy when they are severely neutropenic. This is a case of tiflitis. Uh, ultrasound demonstrate echogenic thickening of the cecal wall. And also the uh, show this image show the uh, spasm and thumb printing. Mucosal, mucosal thickening involving the cecum. Omental infarction is an common cause of right lower quadrant pain in children that mimic appendicitis clinically. Infected omental segment has the appearance of a focal ovoid area of edema that's usually located between the anterior abdominal wall and the right colon. The condition is self-limiting. And this is CT scan of a child with a uh, Omental infarction show a focal mass like between uh, the anterior abdominal wall and the colon, anterior to the right colon. They are usually presented right iliac fossa pain, feature of appendicitis. Uh, appendicitis in children uh, mostly diagnosed by clinically, and they present as uh, periambilical uh, pain radiate to the right lower quadrant or lower limb. Uh, may be associated with fever or vomiting, and on ultrasound we see we see also uh, the blind ending uh, distended appendix with thick wall um, associated with uh, fat strand and increased vascularity. Yeah, it's somewhere uh, just by. <laughs> bilateral appendicitis. Yeah, it's مكتوب في أحد المقالات بس doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Uh, also in child we sometimes saw uh, appendicitis with perforation uh, and multiple uh, this it's multiple loops of uh, small in the upper abdomen relatively gas distended when you have a case of appendicitis yes and he's in pain and suddenly he becomes better pain goes away don't be satisfied it is rupture yes yeah Severe pain, and then suddenly, we don't have any explanation, he just gets better. This is not because he gets better, because it's perforated and it will develop an abscess. Yes. So you have to continue <coughs> doing the imaging and treatment and <coughs> whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not really easy to see. The city is much better in this. Uh, this is tel uh, 12 ultrasound of a uh, 12 year old girl show a large collection of complex fluid containing echogenic uh, debris. debris 
this is large uh, pelvic abscess in a child with a uh, ruptured appendicitis. Most common cause of pelvic abscess in a child age group is a perforated appendix. It happens if it's not easy to be seen always. For example, here there is no fat, so you, don't, you are not sure that this is the appendix and these are abscesses. It's just, yeah. yes. you know, happens if you notice. Uh, also, sometimes you can see appendicolith uh, within the appendix, mm -hmm. and it is uh, pathognomonic of uh, if we see it by ultrasound or by CT. Mesenteric adenitis is uh, another cause of uh, abdominal pain and uh, mostly right iliac fossa pain. They are presented uh, with uh, multiple by ultrasound, show multiple uh, lymph enlarged lymph nodes, mostly associated with uh, upper GI mm -hmm. viral infection. Mm -hmm. Yes, left. In hepatobiliary atresia and neonatal hepatitis account for most causes of cholestatic jaundice in unit. Hepatitis in newborn can be related to infection with a specific virus like hepatitis B or cytomegalovirus. It may be associated with familial or metabolic condition that result in cholestatic jaundice like alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency or biliar disease. <coughs> Diffuse extrahepatic bile duct atresia is believed to result from chronic viral cholangiohepatitis. The gallbladder mostly small or absent. Less common are intrahepatic ductal atresia and focal atresia of the bile ducts. Biliary atresia can occasionally be a part of syndrome, which may include polysplenia situs inversus, cardiac or pulmonary anomalies, vascular anomalies, or intestinal malrotation. Uh, this ultrasound show uh, in case of biliary atresia, triangular shaped area of increased Ecogenicity, ecogenicity anterior to the right portal vein, uh, case of uh, biliary atresia. And when you see that, you always go and look for the gallbladder. Yes. So if it is absent or small, or at least a small size, then you are confirming biliary atresia. Okay? Mm. Especially Normal the size child. Normal not exclude, but it is very uncommon to have uh, mm. normal size gallbladder with biliary atresia. Very unlikely. Yes. Twenty percent. I think twenty percent is too much. Yeah. It should be even much less than that. Pancreatitis in a child is uncommon and most often caused by viral infection of blunt trauma, uh, and uh, the finding is like the adult. If uh, the pancreas will be enlarged, hypoechoic, and in acute state. Mm. This is post, uh, most common cause. Uh, we said that uh, blunt trauma. Uh, this is post-traumatic pancreatitis in a child. Uh, Lobulated pseudocysts are uh, developed by CT and ultrasound. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good, nice, focused presentation. And uh, focus on the important things. Very good job. Any questions?